Uh, today I'm interviewing Mayor Catherine Pugh. Uh, she is the mayor of Baltimore City and she is one of our leadership mayors, especially especially now. Yes. Like she's just <laughs> a former state senator of the uh, uh, state of Maryland and now she's this I'm just, I'm blown away. Thank I you really am. So I have many, to tell you yes, the truth. So I, I told people that when I joined the U.S. Conference of Mayors, when you become a mayor of a major right. city, and I've been a mayor now for about a year and six months, you're automatically a mayor. Right. I said I really wanted to stay focused on my city. Uh, and then they asked me if I would uh, lead uh, the census. And I yes. said, absolutely, because when I was a state senator, I led this, uh, that for the state of Maryland. Right. And I realized how important that count is. And then with this new wrinkle that we have in the census mm -hmm. about um, citizenship, right. which is something that has never occurred before. Never. You know, and that is scary. not what, right, it's scary, but not only that, that's not what the census is about. Exactly. And so we don't want the census politicized. Mm -hmm. We want the census to focus on what it was originated to do, mm -hmm. and that it was to count people so that we, that are living in particular jurisdictions, so that as we're dividing up federal dollars, mm -hmm. that we make sure that those dollars are coming to the jurisdictions where people are right, living. To get the right credit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So tell us what you're doing uh, with affordable housing. So affordable housing is really interesting because what we're doing now is looking at how we redevelop neighborhoods that have been underinvested in in decades. So what we're saying to developers, because if you come to Baltimore, you'll see cranes up everywhere. If you build apartment buildings downtown because millennials, you know, that's where they want to live, mm -hmm. they fill up before you can get them up in the right. air. And so what we're saying is we can't just build um, moderate upper income housing. We have to build affordable housing. Yes. Now, we need middle and upper income housing as well, and we've got some great um, upper and income housing stock in the city and building more. But as we continue to build, what we say one thing is, uh, when we are at, when you're asking us for tax in increment financing, mm -hmm. that 20% of what you do has to be affordable housing. Right, right. And then the other thing that we recently did is we're creating an investment fund for our city. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I say this to mayors all the time, understand your assets and yes. what you can do with them. Yes. So we're um, leasing a few garages in the city to create a $55 million investment mm -hmm. um, fund so that we can invest more in affordable housing and stimulate investment right. by private sector to make that kind of investment take, yeah. that kind of building take place in our city. And then we're also taking our slots impact money mm -hmm. because we get slots impact money because we have casinos and we're focusing in, in certain areas, we're focusing in on carters that haven't been in, invested in for yes. decades, where board up houses exist, because we want people to be able to see change. Right. And right. so Very that's important. that's important. Mm -hmm. You know, the the carters that are trafficked daily, where people uh, egress and ingress into your city, uh, the areas where people have lived traditionally uh, that have been left devastated for decades. We're saying fix it, and we can wow. do it, but we can do it together. That is so cool. I mean, you're really changing the whole landscape for Baltimore. Well, I tell people we got to think creatively. Yeah. And we have to understand the power that we have as right. mayors. Our responsibility is for our city, is the vision what we want our city to look at, yeah. look like yeah. decades right. after we're gone. Right, right. Well, that's so important to think big and think yes. future. Yes, yes. So I want to ask you about our Waypoint. Yes. This is a really cool way of communicating right here, right now, what's yes. going on in a city. City services showing city services, things to do in Baltimore. This is, of course, Boston. Yes. But it will show you all that, you know, where to get uh, a good meal or a drink, uh, how to get around the city. And then you can use oh. all these all these things. If you want to go to North, uh, Northeastern University, you can plot it out and then send it to your mobile so you have directions. What Do you think this might be another good way to communicate? Well, we think there are great ways to communicate. In fact, we've started doing this in our city. We've have got you? them in the downtown area now. Great. Uh, we think these are, are not just great tools for people who live in the city, mm -hmm. it's great tools for people who visit the, who city. Visit the city. And tourism is yeah. a big trade yeah, in yeah, yeah. our city, right. and so we find them to be very advantageous and certainly great. something that we believe most cities should be yeah, looking absolutely. at. Absolutely. Well, I'm a big advocate for city community identity. You absolutely. Know, what, it, what is it? When you walk into Baltimore, what do you think? Charm so City. So this is another Charm City. There Charm you go. City, You've Baltimore. got that brand, and now you can better communicate it with these absolutely. kinds of uh, tools. Thank you so much for talking with Thank us. You. Thank you. And I'm you so for excited for your leadership and what you're doing. I mean, I'm, I, you can just sort of sense your excitement about things. Well, so. I tell people I pinch myself every day that I get to do this work. <laughs> I'm grateful to be alive, right? Thank you, Thank you so much.